got up for you tonight is only 12 years old, so you've got to show him a lot of love for that. And this is his first ever performance. So please, can we have a warm welcome for Robbie Minaj? Make no mistake and bring it straight into the world, yeah, into your face. About to bring down the entire place. We've been doing a project uh, which we call the Levs, which is like a training program where we've trained up um, some kind of younger music leaders to deliver workshops and then they've been delivering music workshops to young people. Um, Viv uh, has come through the program and, and now works with me running a, a project in Brighton. Um, and yeah, we've got some of our young people performing today uh, from that project. Um, and then there's also loads of kind of collaborations and things going on between different musicians and young people. And it's the usual kind of audio active, pretty futuristic combination of 10 million things on one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we summed it up pretty well. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so basically I've been working um, with Max and with Jack as well, who's uh, another person who works for Audio Active. Um, we've been working out at the Yoss studio on West Street and just, yeah, I, be, I did 40 weeks training uh, and now I'm working with Max up in Hangleton, delivering workshops, masterclasses. Uh, I'll focus mainly on the rapping side of things, although Max is really good at that as well. Um, and I do a bit of production and stuff and yeah, we just get them, you know, being creative and working on the music they love and, and try and get them a finished product. Basically, um, where I was before I started out um, working with Audio Active or even really, I knew of them briefly being in Brighton, quite a popular organisation with young people. Um, and I'd kind of done things to do with projects with them from a, you know, from a participant, like, uh, view kind of thing so yeah so then I got involved with them um, I got a uh, message by Joe Bates who used to work for the youth offending team and has been involved with stuff with audio active and partnerships and stuff like that for a long time and uh, she basically said there's an opportunity to do some training and to teach some young people and kind of build my skills as well as passing them on to like the younger generation type of thing um, so I applied and I got the position and then that's when I started working with Max and Jack and met up with Adam and yeah things grew from there really and since then I've gone from someone who couldn't, you know, who was being taught to now being the mentor or teacher and yeah the, the like journey from A to B has been like quite a pretty cool one and I've learned loads and I feel that I'm, I'm able now so I've been like given the skills to do a lot of stuff basically. It's, de it's definitely helped my confidence. Um, being, I think, when you take take it out of always just focusing on you and then starting to pass on the stuff you know to other people, you realise how much you do know and how much work you've been putting in to get where you are. And yeah, I think it's, it definitely helps, you know, get a grasp of your perspective on, on where the level you are at, really. So yeah. Well, it's, it's just stuff that I wish I was taught, really, you know, because you, you spend ages working these things out and you can be doing, and if, if there's no one to say a simple thing like that, you can be going kind of just running around in circles. And yeah, it's just, it's nice to be able to say, you know, just, just little things like that, like putting the mic closer, like Max mentioned, or, you know, anything, especially studio techniques and, and techniques in the studio of just how to, how to rap when you're recording. That's something that's helped me so much when you're watching somebody else do it, you really have to take a step back and think, what's going to make this better and then you can apply that to your own your own records loads of really good highlights um, couple I think it's a couple summers ago now I did a massive performance um, with a girl called Carla and with Brighton Big Band as well and uh, she'd been going Max had been doing stuff with her for years up in Hangleton um, and yeah we, we performed like to a crowd of I think the capacity was like 8,000 or something like that there's probably about 4,000 there it was pretty big and it was to do with the Olympics. Rizzo Kicks were on the stage just before us and stuff, so that's definitely a highlight. Um, and yeah, getting my certificate a couple of weeks ago um, for the training that I did was definitely a highlight. And every, I mean, things like this, you know, seeing the people you've been working with on the stage doing, you know, showing, showing off what, the, what you've helped them create, you know, and their skills is amazing. It's really